Ekman, a privilege welcoming you all for this extraordinary conference, which will definitely enlighten us in various issues that we are missing on. It's a proud privilege welcome you all to the youngest city of India, being run by the youngest mayor of, uh, of India. So it's an honor having you all here. With, on, with respect to this particular field, we are committed of developing and modernization of all the existing slaughterhouses. As you all are aware and as the speakers have updated us regarding the hurdles that uh, come across uh, in, uh, in implementing it, Hyderabad ha has a long history of legal battles and various uh, hurdles that came in front of us during the implementation of this modernization of slaughterhouses. But I am proud to say that my team fought hard for this, evident of the fact that we have just now inaugurated the Ramnaspura Slaughterhouse. Most probably by the end of March, Amberpet, Bhoigura, Amberpet and Golipura and Chingichella rendering plant will be functional and definitely Bhoigura will be by the end of May. So with this, we can assure the citizens of Hyderabad that we will be providing the best hygienic meat possible to them. But in the mean way, uh, meantime, uh, my, all, uh, my main concern was that because of the modernization of slaughterhouse, because of the ONM operators, that was a thing that was running in, in my mind, that the domestic consumers should not, the domestic livelihood should not be affected. So, but we have designed it, uh, designed it in a very, very detailed way and the government of India has de given us very detailed thing regarding that. So, we, I can assure you the domestic uh, livelihood here and the domestic consumer here that it will not affect any meat hike or beef hike or anything like that. We have uh, assigned two shifts for the domestics and one shift for the OINM operators. So this can be controlled and definitely we can go ahead. In the meantime, Siral Saab has just updated us regarding the grants. Yes sir, we appreciate that and we are working towards it. And uh, we will be sitting down with the OINM operators who have taken up these particular slaughterhouses. And we'll be sitting down with them, we'll be having our staff over there who will definitely educate the domestic uh, uh, consumers and the domestic meat operators regarding the various grants, how they can update the modernization of their meat plants and everything. And we'll definitely, we have also allotted around about 50 crore rupees in our recent budget as a part of innovative projects which can be used in developing this particular sector as well. So we are quite committed. In the meantime, definitely, as we are here on the, this particular unit, I will definitely want to highlight the achievements of my great city in the past two years that we have achieved. The main thing is, we stand proud here, st saying to you that we have worked hard in this particular sector and we have achieved the goal. Moreover, we have just allow, given a budget of 4,599 crores in which slaughterhouse, a budget has been allocated for slaughterhouse improvements as well. So any other improvement or any other plan that is there for Hyderabad, we are at it. And we can definitely send the proposal to the government and take up the work immediately. So we have that particular funds, thanks to our, the financial status that we are enjoying right now in Hyderabad. Definitely, Sir Al-Saf, I would definitely want to update you that uh, pe jitne bhi meat shops thode log yahan pe main bhi dekha, thode log aaye hain. Main unlo se bhi main ye batana cha raha hon ki जो भी यहां पे बैठे हैं हम लोग कमिटेड हैं आपके डेवलपमेंट के लिए और आप लोगों का आप लोगों की जो फिकर है और आप लोगों की जो सोच है जो इससे पहले भी हमारे मीटिंग्स हुए थे इस तालुक से कि जो रोजगार के हिसाब से जो कुछ भी फर्क पड़ेगा या मीट के उसमें जो भी होगा तो वो हमने क्लैरिफाई किया है और हम ये कमिटेड है कि वो चीज पे हम बराबर कंट्रोल रखेंगे और ये बराबर कोशिश करेंगे कि डोमेस्टिक लाइवलीहुड पे कुछ ना फर्क पड़े क्योंकि आपकी कमाई या आपकी आमदनी हमारे लिए भी जरूरी है और आपका इस सोसाइटी के लिए जो आपका जो कंट्रीब्यूशन अभी तक रहा है वो हम भी हम भी अप्रिशिएट करते हैं और हम हमेशा हम आपके साथ उस उसमें रहेंगे इसी के साथ मैं ये भी आई थिंक दिस दैट दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस विल यील्ड अस ग्रेट रिजल्ट्स एंड देयर विल बी डेफिनेटली रिकमेंडेशंस फॉर द ग्रेटर हैदराबाद म्युनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशंस फॉर इंप्लीमेंट वेरियस न्यू थिंग्स एंड आई कैन अश्योर यू एज द फॉर सिटीजंस ऑफ हैदराबाद दैट एनी रिकमेंडेशन फ्रॉम एंड आउटकम्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्फ्रेंस will be the first to make sure that we implement that and we execute that. Thank you so much.